everyone, my name is Desiree with theastrologyaddiction.com and thank you so much for watching. Today I will be doing a video here starting my series of the North Node and the South Node in your birth chart. And it's really important to look at this place in your chart. It is not a planet, it's not an uh, asteroid, but it is the nodes of the moon. So it's an angle in your chart which has a lot of importance. It shows you your destiny, kind of your life path, if you will. And it really shows you where in a chart someone has a strong desire and they continue to want more. It seems to bring things into people's lives of a physical form. And it's just a place that you are meant to be drawn towards. It can also bring fear into the um, person's life from that area if it's um, in regards to the house or the um, zodiac sign. Just have to consider everything with that. And your south node is going to be a place where you feel more comfortable. You can tend to regress to patterns of your south node to comfort you or to, um, uh, it's it's things that are not really your, your main focus. You know that already. You've lived it in past lives possibly. And you, you maybe even have family with the behaviors of the south node. It can be something that you're trying to get as far away from as possible. But there are things that keep drawing you back towards the south node. I will be starting off today go through the north node through the zodiac signs and if you'd like to book an astrology reading with me that will be in the description box as well so with your gemini north node this is something where you're really meant to learn about many different things um, you're meant to be curious you're not meant to be stuck into one idea um, and per perhaps one religion or one course of learning or one like method of life you're really meant to continue learning and to continue to expand your knowledge and not be stuck on one thing. Um, at the Sagittarius South Node, you can be stuck on one idea um, and be dogmatic about it. You can be very, um, you know, set in your ways about how you how your beliefs are. Um, you can want to even be a preacher or want to be someone who, um, you know. Um, many different things you know you can just be get you can get stuck in that um, one area and you know you're really meant to expand to learn and to be open-minded um, to communicate with many different types of people and to um, be accepting and uh, empathetic and learn from other people other cultures other religions um, you know and, and you're meant to not be not be shy either you know uh, it, it's it's where you're not supposed to really get stuck in being the um, the the preacher or the know-it-all but you know you want to take the step into the learner the listener um the empathizer someone that um you know takes takes into consideration all aspects of um you know a problem or the spectrum of ideas um and doesn't just focus on the one piece of the puzzle right um and so that's that's where your gemini north node um you know your purpose lies um and my grandmother has this and she's definitely one who has gotten a little bit stuck into um, through her through her life she's at, she's at a point where she's learning and changing but through her life um, you know with religion and with different um, ideologies just in stuck in that way um, and it's it's important for the Gemini North Node to um, you know talk to a lot of people um, be open to ideas be open to learning and always be learning um, never you know you're never too old to change you're never too old to um, take a step of faith and the leap of faith to, to try something new and to get out of your comfort zone so that is where the gold really lies with your Gemini North Node um, thank you guys so much for watching and my links are in the description box if you would like to book a reading with me have a good day